Hi everybody, I'm here with a box from Daniela's Candles. Um, I saw Julianne do a review on them and I found them over on Etsy and I asked um, if they would like me to do a review and I sent all my stats and everything and they said yeah that, that would be great. Um, let me just tell you a little bit. They're 100% soy wax. Um, they're made in the USA and they're located in Brooklyn, New York. Um, they sell a luxury line of candles and they have six collections. Um, they come in luxury packaging with jewelry ranging from $20 to $1,000. Um, they have six collections, like I said. They have the men's collection, which run for $24.99, a classic collection, which um, runs for $23.99, aromatherapy collection for $24.99, and then they have a holiday collection, which my candle came from, that range in price from $23.99 to $24.99. Um, the difference is they have a luxury box square jar, which is a 21 ounce candle, and they also have a luxury boxed round jar, which is an 11 ounce candle. Um, then they have the Zodiac Signs Collection and the Occasion Collection. Um, Zodiac Signs runs for $23.95, or maybe it was $23.99 and I just accidentally put a 5 in there. And then the Occasion Collection is $24.99, however they have a very special personalized um, Occasion Candle where you pick your scent, you enter your names for the label, and you choose his and her initial jewelry and um, those are $35.95 and they're in a round lidded 22 ounce jar so um, what I have is Endless Love from the Holiday Collection in a size 9 so let's see And they also have a catalog. I love candles that come in the little designer boxes. They just make it look so nice. Okay, that's it for that. Let me open this up here. Look at it. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> they even have the logo on top. DC for Daniela's Candles. And it reminds me of uh, the DC Shoe Company, right? <laughs> wow, I'm going to take a picture of this. Let's see what this says here. It says a jewelry gift in every candle. Okay, I have um, a discount code to share with everyone, um, and it's to daniellascandles.com. They also have an Etsy shop, um, which I will share a link to that as well. I've, all the information will be down below, but I will wait to share the code with you until just a little bit later. So I'll be right back. I'm going to take a picture of the candle, and then we'll open it up and see what's inside. Or maybe I'll open it and take a picture as well, and then we'll sniff it. <laughs> we'll be back. Hi everybody, I'm back with my Daniela's Candles. It came in this adorable box. And it's pretty sturdy. Really pretty sturdy. 
um, hand poured luxury candle. It says, we are a creative company with a critical eye for detail. We make luxury handmade candles and we transform them into something fun and unique for your own pleasure or for a loved one. Our candles are 100% natural soy and we use premium quality fragrance, fragrances so they all smell great. Inside your candle could be a ring, necklace, pendant, or a pair, pair of earrings. All of our candles are hand poured with love in Brooklyn, New York. So I think that's pretty cool. My husband's from Brooklyn, by the way. <laughs> so it's pretty cool that this company comes from Brooklyn. All right, so I haven't opened it and sniffed it yet, but this is the little jar it comes in. This is the 11 ounce round um, jar. And it simply says, Daniela's Candles Collection, a jewelry gift in every candle. And it comes with the little rubber sealed top. There's some oil or something on top here. I got it on my hands. So I'm guessing it just sweat a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm just going to dab it off before I end up lighting the candle just to make sure nothing catches fire or anything. Because <laughs> I hear that fragrance oils can be flammable. So yeah, it was just a little extra oil on top. Um, as you can see, the jar is lined with the beautiful white, so it makes the candle look even prettier. So it's not just the candle itself turning everything white. Now the scent is Endless Love, and I don't remember what the description was, but it's kind of a um, perfume type of a scent. It's not offensive perfume. It's a pretty perfume. But let me look it up. I will be right back. See, something's bubbling up from right there. I don't know. Can you see this? There's liquid bubbling up from right here. I, I just dried it off completely, but it's coming up. There's like a little hole right here. Can you see? See, I've got oil on my fingers, too. Do you see that? Uh, tilt it up. Yeah, oh, right there. Yeah, right there. It's starting to drip down. Do you tip see that? Up, tip it up a little bit. Down. Down. Yep, right there. Can you see it coming up that hole? There's like a little tiny... Yeah, now it's coming down. It's almost to the wick. So, not sure why it's leaking oil. But... I'll just dab it off and hope it goes away before I have to light the candle. Yeah, look. It's coming up again. How strange is that? Zoom in here and get at a good angle because as soon as I dry it, it bubbles up the oil again. It's really odd. Come right in. See it? Do you see it bubbling? Look, there's actual bubbles coming up. Get in close, Fitzroy. It's all white. So get it at an angle so you can see it. Yeah, right, there's. Come around and come up on top of it. <clears throat> Can you see it now? You see it's actually bubbling. See the bubbles coming up? Yep. You, you saw that, right? Yeah. All right, now watch. I'm going to dry all that oil off. See? See the bubbles? Is that strange or what? There it goes. It's bubbling up again. See? I'm wondering if that's where the jewelry is. 
and some oil got stuck with the jewelry or something. See, look. You see it? It's pulling again. You saw that? Yep. Weird, huh? Very weird. I've never seen a candle do that before. All right, well. Wondering if I dump it, will anything come out? All right, well, we will be back in just a few minutes. You know what, let me just look. Nope, I see the jewelry pouch right here on the back. It's right there. So I wonder what that is. The whole outside of the jar is oily now. I'm gonna dry it off. I'll come back when it's lit. See you in a minute. You see it now? Hey everybody, I ran to the bathroom and I also got on my phone to look up the scent and all this oil has bubbled up again. See look, it can even make it pull just by going like this. Can you see that where, where it pulls right against the edge? Yep. From this little hole right over here, all this oil keeps coming out. Now watch, let me see if I can tear off a piece of paper towel and actually soak it up. Yeah, now you can see it soaking up. That came out of the hole while I was gone after I've already wiped it a couple of times because it kept bubbling up. It's quite weird to say the least. You can see that's a lot of oil. So, I don't know. And there it goes, it's bubbling up again. Can you see it? Yep. Just a little bit. Can you see that really well? See, look, let me turn it sideways a little bit because it will actually run down. Yeah, see it running down? Yep. I want to stick a toothpick in there just to see if it will open up or something. Weird. All right, I just wanted to share that, so. Oh wow, I could push on it and make it bubble more. Watch, watch, see how much oil's already come out? Watch. See that? Isn't that weird? Very weird. Give me a toothpick. I'm gonna stick a hole in it. Wow, it's going all the way down. Now I can't pull it out. Ow, give me pliers.
That's a lot of oil on there, huh? Yep. Oh wow. It's sunk. Oh, get over here and film. Hurry up. It's foaming. This is really weird. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you, you recording? Okay. Can you see the hole? I stuck a toothpick down there just to see. And look. And it went all the way down to the bottom like no. Look. I push on it and see how the bubbles coming up? Can you see those? Isn't that weird? I've never seen anything like this. See it bubbling? Yep. That is so odd. I'm almost afraid to burn it. I don't think I want to burn it. Do you? Uh, Look. Ask questions first. Yeah, I'm going to ask questions. I'm not even going to burn this. Because, see, I stuck the toothpick in there, and still all this oil is coming out. It's so strange. Isn't that odd? Let me see if I can push on it again if more will bubble out. Yep, look. Do you see it? Yep. Isn't that weird? That is like the strangest candle I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. I don't get it. I don't know where all that oil is coming from. Anyways, alright, go back over there and let me just talk about it for a minute. everybody I was doing some filming there was a hole like a tiny little hole in the top of my candle and there was oil on the top um, I dried it off more oil came out I find when I push on the top um, it bubbles right out so I'm not gonna burn right now I'm going to wait and see um, what they tell me maybe they'll want me to send this back like it is so they can see it without me burning it because I'm a little nervous to burn it with oil being on there because I've been told that working with the fragrance oils is dangerous because it is so flammable so it makes me nervous <laughs> anyways this is the endless love candle um, <clears throat> it says endless love jewelry candle 11 ounce luxury scented natural soy candle the scent description says, love is in the air, romantic rose notes, endless love is a sexy aromatherapy, natural soy jewelry, wax jewelry candle. This beautiful and romantic candle also is infused with natural essential oils, including orange and grapefruit. This candle is not only romantic, but has sweet powers to revitalize you. Truly luxurious, endless love jewelry candle, candles, strong scented candles, pure fragrance oil that has a delightfully delicate marriage of citrus and sage mingling with apple, melon, ylang ylang, ylang, <laughs> I like to look up how to say that. Undertones, mossy woods, and vanilla musk create a silken impression as the fragrance unfolds. To me, it's Described in here is kind of a fruity scent, but I get a total perfume scent, so I don't know. I'm just a little nervous to burn it. I'm, yeah, look, I just pushed a little bit there, and look at that. Oh, Fitzroy, look at all the oil coming out. Come on, you got to come over here. Get the camera. You've got... Silly, the camera needs to come over here. Look, I touched the top of the oil, 
And now it cracked, the candle, it cracked and I have oil all over my finger. Look at all that that I just pushed up just by pushing on the candle. Do you see that? Look. Do you see it? The whole candle is like oily. Look. Can you see my thumb? Yep. Can you see all the thumbprints I put on there? Yep. Wow, that's a lot of oil to be weeping from your candle. It shouldn't be doing that. It's not bonded well. You know what I'm saying? Mm. No, you don't, right? <laughs> no. Yeah, it's not supposed to be doing that. That's really strange. That's really strange. Okay, I'm going to contact the company because I probably won't burn this just for the fact that there's so much oil. And I've got plenty of video to show them how it was doing that too. And that hole is filling right back up with oil again. It's just seeping right out. So, odd. Um, thanks for watching and thanks for watching and uh, I will let you know how we proceed with this. So, bye. Hi everybody, I'm back with Daniela's Candles. Um, it is March 3rd. On the 23rd of um, February, this was sent back out to me. As you'll recall from when I ended filming last time, um, this was bubbling up oil. It was very spongy, um, oily. So I didn't feel safe lighting it. As you can see, I still haven't lit it. Um, so they Initially, I wrote to them, and they thought that maybe it was damaged by heat. And we looked at the temperature from Brooklyn, New York, out here to the Omaha, Nebraska area, and everything was below 50 degrees the whole time. Um, it was thought maybe it was stored, stored near a radiator, and it wasn't. I'm very careful with my stuff, especially things I'm being sent to review. Um, so they agreed to send me another candle, just a plain candle, so that I can finish the review because I'm not going to burn this one. I'm actually going to put this one on my warmer. Matter of fact, I'll start that now. That way I can go ahead and extract the jewelry from this one. So this one's a naked candle, and it also doesn't have a box because I already have the box. So they just sent me a naked candle without the box without jewelry so that I could burn it. Well, this one looks like it may have came with a box. Hmm. And the, the scent of this, by the way, just to refresh everybody's memory and my own, was Endless Love. Look how cute. <laughs> scared the cat. Okay, so it just came in a, a regular box this time. There we go. Yep, just a regular box, no lid. 
Nothing. Just a naked candle. And those are cute little boxes too. Got a little bit of fuzzball on it. <laughs> I want to get rid of that. Plastic. Sticking to me. Yep, and this is endless love again as well. I can smell it, so. This is the candle that we're going to burn to let you know what the throw is. So let me go ahead and light this. I see a little hole by the wick, but I don't see oil like last time. No oil, and it's very hard this time. Last time, this one's like really spongy feeling and the oil just seeped right out of it. So for all of you who don't know, essential oils and fragrance oils are highly flammable. Put them near a flame and they can catch on fire. So it's pretty, let me go ahead and trim this wick just a little bit. That's kind of a high wick. Keep your wicks trimmed to a quarter of an inch and it'll reduce soot. I just use an old pair of toenail clippers to trim my wicks all the time. So we're going to start burning this and we'll let you know how the throw goes. Um, at the same time, I'm going to leave this on my warmer, my Glade hot plate portion. You just take the tray off and you can put a candle right on the top and melt that. So we'll let you know how the throw goes. I can see the jewelry back here, so um, hopefully we'll be back with more information, letting you know how it smells and showing you a beautiful piece of jewelry. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hi everybody, I'm back with my Daniela's candles. Um, this has been burning for just over three hours and I've had this on the warmer and it's completely melted so I can retrieve the jewelry. But I do want to show you something first. Fitzroy, if you can come over here. If you can see, this is tunneling just a little bit, ever so slightly. Can you see? And by tunneling, it means that the, the candle's burning down and leaving wax on the outside edge. You might have to come up over. Right. Here we go. All right, so let me go ahead and fix this here. As you can see, the candle is tunneling a little bit. It may be a little bit under wet. And you can see the wax is built up oops, on the edge there. I'm going to show you what you can do to stop it from doing that. So this first burn, the memory will be of melting all the way across instead of continuing to tunnel the whole time. I'll do that first. So. Just tent it with tin foil is all you need to do. And just get a piece of tin foil. And I put it like about halfway down the candle. I'm going to blow it out before so I don't burn my fingers on camera. Normally I just burn my fingers. I'm going to make this a little bit shorter by the way. And you simply wrap your candle a little bit below where it's tunneling at and it will capture the heat and it will melt that wax on the side so your next burn should keep the memory of a full melt pool and sometimes I do this if I want to get to my 
jewelry piece a little bit faster. I will tent it, but not until after I evaluate the throw because I do know that tenting, for me, I've noticed, does affect the throw a little bit. So once you go ahead and get it tented like this, just relight your candle. And in a very short amount of time, probably a half hour or so, that will all be melted and level flat. Nice and flat wax, nice melt pool. So, that's what tenting is. Next, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can handle this. That is too hot. Let me use a paper towel to take it off. <clears throat> quite hot. And you can see the jewelry packets right back there. Let me turn off my warmer now. Now the reason I didn't burn this candle is it had um, quite a lot of fragrance oil seeping up out of it. And I didn't want a fire hazard. So I melted it and they sent me this candle. And I don't know if I said it yet, but the throw on this is a level two. It's a it's, the description of it was, did I write that down? No, I didn't write down the description. The name of it is Endless Love, and it describes it as a fruity scent. However, I get more of like a, a light perfume scent. It's a pretty scent. I'm just not a huge fan of perfumey scents, but it's more of a, a perfume scent to, to me. How about to you, Fitzroy? It smells perfumey. Perfumey to you as well? Yep. Yeah. I like it. It's not bad at all. So let's go ahead and see if we can take this off the edge. Gently without splashing. Oh. Wow, that is really, really stuck on there. There we go. There we go. And I will simply let that harden and scoop that wax into my warmer if I want to melt it again. I'm not going to ever burn this candle. In fact, I will push the wick all the way to the bottom. <laughs> so that way nobody lights it by mistake. So let me see here. Let's get this back over here. Oh, wow. <laughs> That was almost a big mess. <laughs> it slipped. Okay, <laughs> that would not have been good. These candles are 100% soy, made in the USA, and made actually in Brooklyn, New York, where my husband's from. Woo-woo. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, you just sound so enthusiastic. All right, let's see what our jewelry is. This was the holiday collection. And the 11 ounce, which is what I have, um, is the $23.99. And they also have a 21 ounce or a luxury round 11 ounce, which is the box one here. Um, but the 21 ounce is $24.99. This one says, pick your jewelry. can already see a roundness to it, so I'm pretty positive we're dealing with a ring. And we are. Yep, and it is a size 9. I mentioned that, but I, don't, I didn't recall whether or not they were actually sending me a size that I could wear. Or if it was going to be random, I wasn't sure. It's got a pretty rose gold color. And I will show this jewelry in photos like I always do, but I'm going to wait for that to level out and then do the photos with it. See, it smells pretty. It's just not the fruity. It said some fruity in there, so I don't know. Size 9. Wow, that's really pretty. This is, it's a halo ring, and it's got a rose gold 
color to it. I'm going to put it on and it fits perfectly at, at a size 9. All right, do you want to come, come and see this and then I'll read the paper? Isn't that pretty? Can you see the sparkles? Because I'm getting a ton of sparkle. Are you catching the sparkle on camera? Yep. Isn't that pretty? I love halo rings, by the way. <laughs> I think they're gorgeous. All right. So let's go ahead. Get focused in here and then I'll read the paper. You're going to lock it in place, please? There you go. Lock it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. I hate for it to fall. All right. Luxury rhinestone gold ring, material alloy crystal, metal type gold plated, size 9, manufacturer suggested retail price of $54. I guess I should have left that off so you could see it up close, but there we go. So it is gold plated. Um, so I'm guessing that it's not like a silver. It's just a costume gold plated piece, I believe. Yeah, I don't see any markings, but I would have to look closer. But it, it's a very pretty ring. I wish I loved rose gold as much as I like the white colored, you know, silver or white gold or whatever. But really, it's very pretty. Okay, well there you have it, Danielle's Candles. One final thing I have for you is they have given me a discount code to share with my viewers. So if you would like to place an order, um, if you order and use the code Kimberly10, K-I-M, I'll put it right here, K-I-M-B-E-R-L-Y, the number one and the number zero, you will save 10% off your total order. Product only, shipping and tax is not included, um, at daniellascandles.com. And I will have all that information down below for you, including their other social media accounts, their Facebook page. All of that information will be there, so it's quick and easy access. You just click See More. It'll open a window up for you, and it has all the links. So you can't, you can't not find them. <laughs> um, so Kimberly... 10 will save you 10% off your total order, no matter how much or how little you order. So thanks for watching, everybody. If you haven't subscribed, please do. See you next time. All right, we're back again. I was just I just finished up filming and I wanted to look because I want to take a photo here and I looked inside and I want to show you guys. So bring that camera here. This tenting worked just that fast. This is almost completely leveled out and I was recording maybe 5 minutes or so. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and get you over here. I'm going to take the camera from my husband because he's having a difficult time here. Okay, I guess he's got it on manual focus still. He's got it on autofocus, but it's not doing it. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and lift this off. And as you can see, let me see if I can get it at the right angle here so you can see it much better. Look, 
the melt pool has already spread all the way to the edge in probably about five minutes time just from tenting. So tenting does an amazing job. So there you go, there you have it. That works really well. So thanks again for watching everybody. Hi everybody, I'm back one more time. I don't recall because there's been a week or so between filming if I mentioned the first time around that women's rings come in sizes 5 through 9 men's rings will come in sizes 9 through 13 um, each candle has a ring earrings pendant or necklace inside worth twenty to a thousand dollars you can pick your jewelry or ring size or ch simply choose surprise me I'm pretty sure I covered this before but I just wanted to say it again just in case um, and I'm pretty sure I covered all the different collections of their luxury line of candles. Um, so that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys. Talk to you guys later.